Welcome all. In my previous session, I have shown you that how you can set up the playwright environment in your Windows machine using Node.js. In this session, I will tell you that how you can run your playwright test. For that purpose, first of all, let me show you this is my project. And in my project, I have this folder test and under test, I have a file that is called, this is a sample example file, which is by default generated by initializing my project here. Okay, so let me click on this file and you can say that which is under test. Okay, and this file contains, I want to show you that this file contains, you can say two test cases. So uh, here you can say this is the syntax that is similar to the Cypress also. Uh, this is one test. Okay, and now this is another test case. So we have only two test cases here. So uh, now we want to run this file and we want to run these test cases. So how we can run it for that purpose, we can use the command. Okay, and the command is npx playwright test. The command is npx playwright test. So here one important thing is that, what is the important thing? That by default test will run on all three browsers like Chromium, Firefox and WebKit here. Second important thing is that whenever you are running your, uh, you can say uh, playwright test using this command, these test case will run in the headless mode, meaning no browser will open up while running the test. Okay, so if you want to run in the UI mode, you need to do some extra configuration for that. Okay, but for the timing, it is it will execute in the headless mode. And what will happen when the test case will be executed? You can see the result and test log in your terminal. So first of all, let me run this command and I can show you that it is running fine or not. So npx and p-l-a-y-w-r-i-g-h-t and the command is test. So it will run my test case. So here interesting thing is that I have shown you, I have told you that by default, it will execute all your test cases in three browsers. It means my specification file contains two test cases like I've shown you, it contains two test case file, but because these are running in all three browsers, so it means it will become six, okay? So I'm going to run the command and you will see that it will show you that it is running six test cases. So running six test cases. So again, I think you got the point. Six test cases means it is considering all the two test cases in all three browsers. So it becomes six. Now you can say uh, it all the test cases are passed. So that's why you are able to see this information. Six passed here. And now you can say that it is showing you that if you want to open the report, uh, you can open the report using this command. Here I want to tell you one important thing is that that should be noted down that whenever you are running your test cases, and your test case, if any one of the test cases failed, by default, your HTML report will be open. You don't need to run any command for that. It will automatically open. But if your all the test cases are passed, like below scenario, like this scenario, then you have to open the report explicitly. So now let me show you how you can open the report. Simple npx playwright. So report and let me enter. So when I enter, it will open the browser and will show you the reports here where you can see that all the test case results are there. This is my example spec TS file. And you can say that I have two test cases has title and get a started link. And these two test cases are executed on three browser, Chromium, Firefox, and the WebKit here. So we'll discuss about detail about the report. But in this session, we are going to talk about only this thing that how you can run it and how you can, uh, how it will show you the report here. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to terminate it. Control C and I will execute a fresh one. Okay, so I want to show you this scenario also, but that will be luckily happen that if any test case is going to be failed, then it will open the report automatically. So let me try one more time. Okay, see that if luck works or not. So now let me this one, this command. Okay, if every test case will pass, it will not open the report uh, automatically, but if any test case will fail, Oh, I think all the test cases are again passed. Yeah, so that's I, that scenario, I cannot show it here. Okay, but I can show one thing here. What? Let me go to the, you can say this one here. And da, 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 da. intensely, I can try to fail something. So I can do has title. And here you can say the title I'm expecting playwright. Let me make it playwright D. So I'm intentionally trying to fail the test case here. That's why I want to see that. So now let me control S and now let me run it. So let me run this command. Let me see LS. And now intentionally I'm doing it so that I can show you that report will be automatically open. We, we don't need to run the command show report. So now the command is that this one. And now execute. Yes. 
six tests running, this one running. Yes, now you can say that by default, this test case is failed here. And you can say that, yeah, it has completed. Very good, very good. It is executing. Yes, all the test cases are, you can see that. And now you can say that I have not executed any command, but by default, my browser is open and it's shown the, you can say result that my has title get started link. And these uh, four test cases are failed Two all the uh, two test cases on Chromium are failed. All the two test cases on one on uh, Firefox, this is failed and has started work. So here I want to show you this thing only that whenever you are any test cases failed, you don't need to run the commands to HTML report. It will automatically visible but when all the test cases are passed and still you want to show then you have to run the command okay so now let me simply close this report control c and now let me terminate the job okay c and s so uh now this time what we have done okay now let me correct you can say my test case also play right that is okay control c so now you can say I've shown you this thing. Now I want to show you this thing. Currently uh, using this command, you can run your test case. You can say from the command prompt. But if you want to run your test case using the UI mode, means using the UI. So what you can do for that, if you want to run your test case in UI mode, means using the UI mode, you can uh, add one attribute in your command that is hyphen hyphen UI here. So let me show you that part also. This is my command. Okay, so let me put the cursor here. Okay, let me put the cursor here and now what was the command? This was the command. I will simply add UI and now let me enter it. So you will see that it will not execute my test case directly. It will open the playwright UI and using this playwright, uh, you can see that it is showing you this is my example spec uh, TS file, TypeScript file and these contains two test cases. Now using this, uh, just click on this one and now here you can decide you want to run your test case on three browsers, okay? Or you want to one browser, whatever you want to, you can select it from here and now you can run on this run all button and when you run, you will see that it will execute your test case. So using UI, the only benefit is that you can see the, you can see the result or you want, you can make the debugging of that. So how we can make the debugging uh, other things, we will learn this thing detail in the upcoming session. Okay. But uh, if somebody is going to ask you in the interview that how you can run the playwright uh, test case using the UI board. So you have to use the, that uh, simply this attribute UI in your command, in your command and it will execute in your that UI mode. Now you can see that it is executed here. And now you can see that it is total results is there. Chromium test this one and three here. Okay. So this is, you can say your all uh, the uh, things which we need to cover that how you can run your test cases. If you still you have any doubt, you can put your doubt in the comment of this video. And if you like the video, you can click on the like button. Thank you.